Look for me. <laughs> okay, here's a beer for the audio guy. All right. And one for the grip. One for the gaffer, the best boy. I'm a writer, and I collaborate with various artists, and we do real stuff, comics, and real smut comics, as well as others. But these are the main titles. So I'm one of many people that's working in the autobiographical or confessional genre of comics. Harvey Picard sort of popularized the genre. He's one of the people that came along and wrote about his life and had other people, other artists, draw it. But I think Crumb and Justin Green, who drew a comic called Binky Brown and the Virgin Mary, that's a big influence on the genre, too. But most people that work in, it, in the genre, I would, if you want to call it that, um, take the, you know, pithiest events that happened to them and they sort of elaborate on that. Otherwise, nobody would buy it. I, I, I've read some really boring autobiographical comics that you just can't stand to wade through them. But, you know, it does the artist a lot of good to do it. it you know, it's a real cathartic thing and that's what really the genre is all about. Nobody would do it unless they got off on it because you're sort of holding yourself up to ridicule or close examination and so unless you feel pretty secure about what you're saying you wouldn't bother to go through all the trouble it takes to get it published because it's a lot of trouble really you have to write the story you have to you have to pick the right artist for the story if you can then you have to work closely with the artist and then there's all then there's an editing process and then there's a censorship process that takes place sometimes and then eventually there's the publication but like i said unless it's interesting nobody will come back for more I started out reading comic books, 